Now let's solve next question that is question number 8. In this question you have choice that means you can solve either this part or its optional part. This question is from arithmetic progression and the question says which term of the given arithmetic progression will be 120 more than its 21st term. In this question an arithmetic progression is given and you have to find the term of arithmetic progression which is 120 more than its 21st term. Now let's solve this question. In this given arithmetic progression the first term is 3 and the common difference is 12. And let us consider nth term will be the term which is 120 more than its 21st term. So you can represent the given information with the help of this relation. So here we are representing the relation in this way. Tn is representing the nth term of this given arithmetic progression. T21 is representing the 21st term of this given arithmetic progression and this is the given relation. Now let us put the values of T21 and Tn. We can calculate Tn using the nth term formula that means a plus n minus 1 into d. Similarly, we can also calculate T21 that means 21st term a plus 20 d. So, after calculation we are obtaining these steps. Here the value of n is 31. So, n is 31 that means the 31st term is 120 more than the 21st term of the given arithmetic progression. Now let us find the value of this 31st term. So, you can solve like this using the formula a plus n minus 1 into d that means 3 plus 31 minus 1 into 12 and after further simplification we are obtaining the final answer for this question. That means 363 is the required term which is 120 more than the 21st term of the given arithmetic progression. So, I hope you understood the solution of this question. Now, let us proceed to the marking scheme of this question. So, when you write the first term common difference, you can score half mark for this question and this important relation will give you another half mark. And when you obtain the value of n, that means term, then you can score another half mark and rest half mark is totally based on the final answer that means 363. So, I hope you understood this question. Now, let us discuss the optional part of this question. Again, this question is from arithmetic progression based on the sum of first n terms of the arithmetic progression. This is the question if Sn the sum of first n terms of the given arithmetic progression is given by s n is equal to 3 n square minus 4 n then find the value of nth term. Now, let us solve this question. Here this is the given relation and we are considering s n minus 1 be the sum of n minus 1 terms. Here t n is representing the nth term of this given arithmetic progression s n sum of first n terms s n minus 1 as we discussed sum of first n minus 1 terms of this given arithmetic progression and using this formula you can easily calculate the nth term of this given arithmetic progression and after these calculation we are obtaining the nth term will be 6 n minus 7 and this is the answer for this question and finally you can conclude. So, this is the required nth term of this given arithmetic progression. Now, let us discuss the marking scheme of this question. So, this step will give you half mark and the next step will give you another half mark and here in this calculation part this step will give you half mark and rest half mark is based on the final expression that means the final expression that represent the nth term of this given arithmetic progression. I hope you understood this question as well as the marking scheme. Now, let us solve next question that is question number 9. This question is from coordinate geometry and the question says find the ratio in which the segment joining the points 1 comma minus 3 and 4 comma 5 is divided by x axis. Further we have to find the coordinates of this point on x axis. We will solve this question using the concept of section formula. 
Now let's solve this question. First of all, we are assuming this is point P which divides line segment AB in the ratio K is to 1. We have the coordinates of the ends of this line segment AB. Now let's apply section formula to relate X, K and Y, K. So here you can write in the next step x is equal to 4k plus 1 divided by k plus 1 using the formula mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n. Here m is k, n is 1, x1, x2 are given in this question. Similarly, we can also find the value of y using the section formula. This is very important relation. But notice one thing, the line segment joining these two points divides x axis. And on the x-axis, the y-coordinate of any point is 0. That means this complete value will become 0. That means we can write 5k minus 3 divided by k plus 1 is equal to 0. So in the next step of solution, you can write, since p lies on x-axis, so its ordinate will be 0. In the next step of the solution, you can find the value of k using this very important information. And we are obtaining the value of k as 3 upon 5. So the required ratio is 3 is to 5. But in this question, we have to find the coordinates of the point which lies on x-axis. Now let's find the coordinate of this point. So we can find using equation number 1 and 2 as we obtained in the starting of this question. So when we put the value of k as 3 upon 5 in equation number 1 and 2 will obtain the value of x as 17 upon 8 and y which is equal to 0 because the ordinate of any point which lies on x axis always equal to 0. So this is the required coordinates of point P which divides the given line segment in the ratio 3 is to 5 and this is the final answer for this question. Now let us discuss the marking scheme of this question starting from the beginning. So, when you obtain this important information using section formula, this important step will give you half mark for this question. Clear? Further, when you put the value of y coordinate that means ordinate of point P0, this is very important step, this step will give you half mark. And when you obtain the value of k, that means the ratio in which point P divides the given line segment and this very important step will give you next half mark. And the rest half mark is totally based on the coordinates of this point P. So I hope you understood the solution of this question which is based on the concept of coordinate geometry. Now let us proceed to the next one.